everyone. My name is Andy Steiner. I'm a senior at Northwestern. I'm studying English and statistics with a minor in entrepreneurship. Uh, and I'm really excited to be giving you all a tour of downtown Evanston today. Um, so Evanston is considered the dining capital of the North Shore. We are right above Chicago, so it's super easy to get downtown. Um, and it is a really, really wonderful area to be around, uh, to get to know during your four years at Northwestern. So right now we're pretty much in the center of downtown Evanston. Uh, downtown Evanston is pretty much two blocks away from campus. So it is super, super accessible from really wherever you are, whether you're living on campus, off campus. Uh, and I truly cannot emphasize how many delicious restaurants, great coffee, awesome things to do. There are just like so, so close uh, to Northwestern. So I'm going to point out some of my favorite spots that we're at. Right now, right over there is Flat Top Grill. Um, truly a personal favorite of mine. You get to build your own stir fry. Uh, they have these delicious roti breads that they like fry on the flat top. Um, I'm there like every two weeks. I'm pretty sure the waiters know me, but we don't really recognize that. We kinda, it's an unspoken bond that we have. Um, some other really cool areas that we're right by, Collectivo Coffee. They have a great outdoor patio uh, that's really good for seating as well. Um, really good coffee, really good breakfast food, breakfast burritos. Uh, awesome spot to do some work. Right over here is Farmhouse. Farmhouse is a, a great fancy restaurant, uh, a personal favorite place to take your parents for dinner when they come and visit. Um, awesome food as well. So as you all can see, as we're just walking around downtown Evanston, it's just shop after shop um, of locally owned boutiques, restaurants, coffee shops. Um, right up here, we're coming on Solwich, which has some really good uh, Asian influenced sandwiches. Um, and even after, I mean, I'm in my fourth year here, uh, I still find little niches, little corners to go. Uh, right over there is the Evanston Public Library. You do get access to the Evanston Public Library. Uh, you get to have a membership, go in. Great place to do some work. It's pretty quiet in there. So right now we're kind of in a, a big square in the middle of downtown Evanston. Uh, they just finished construction like a year ago, so it's brand new. There are tons of tables, tons of seating. A uh, great place to catch up with a friend, grab some coffee, um, especially with indoor seating not being super available right now. Um, it's been really great to see some friends, get some uh, food, chill out here. Uh, right over here is Evanston Pub. Uh, it's a bar very close to campus. They have karaoke nights. They have trivia nights. Um, a lot of really fun things to do there, uh, super close as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I really love um, the, the square. It's very new. They have nice lights. It's very aesthetic at night. Um, definitely an awesome place to meet some friends. So while Evanston obviously has tons of great local restaurants and coffee shops and boutiques, et cetera, et cetera, we do have your necessities. Right over there's a Target. There's a Whole Foods. There's a Crater Joe's. Lots of grocery stores. Um, everything you need uh, to be on campus uh, to get the stuff you need. It's always very, very busy at the beginning of the year. That Target, it's also pretty new. It's a nice Target. Right over there is uh, Edzo's. It's a burger restaurant. Really, really good. Um, there are a lot of really good burger places that I personally love in Evanston. Bad 17 is another great one. Bad 17 is like big, massive size of your head sandwiches. Edzo's is a little bit more like fast food type burgers. Uh, both are so good. So this is like, honestly, one of my favorite little corners of Evanston. And that's because they have some of my favorite restaurants and coffee shops. I'm saying that a lot. But there's so many that it's just, it's hard to not talk about. So right over there is Backlot Coffee. And Backlot Coffee is my personal favorite. Uh, they actually have two locations in Evanston. This is their downtown Evanston location. But they also have one uh, kind of closer to the football stadium up on Central Street. Uh, and this is also a really good time to talk about the fact that downtown Evanston is not the only uh, exciting, walkable area of Evanston. Uh, throughout the city, there are different little pockets, whether you're up by the football stadium on Central Street, when you're going down to Dempster, um, with tons of different things to do, tons of different restaurants. Uh, Who's Your Mama, which is a pie place and coffee shop, um, is down on Chicago Avenue. Uh, there's a really great bakery, Great Harvest Bread Co. up on Central Street, kind of by the other location of Backlot. Um, and I think that's something that helps me because uh, I constantly find new areas, whether they're in Evanston, um, whether they're in the surrounding areas. It's super fun to go to explore uh, and to have all of this right within this contained area rather than having to go and, you know, super far for a really great cinnamon roll or 
uh, trying something out. Ooh, Capital right over there. Great brunch, great smoothies, great coffee as well. Uh, kind of got a, a friend's vibe where you sit down there, like seating on couches, good place to set up shop, do some work. Uh, Bar Louie right over there. So also another big part of Evanston is that uh, maybe during your third and fourth year, you actually get to live in Evanston. Uh, we have a two-year live-on requirement, so all first and second years do live on campus in the, uh, in the dorms, but of course off campus. You are welcome to live in an off-campus house, um, in an apartment in downtown Evanston. So lots of apartments uh, in this area. Uh, really good to be kind of getting that city living experience. Um, I'm personally in a house off campus, um, a few blocks from the Arch, a few blocks from downtown Evanston uh, with some of my close friends. And that's been super, super fun as well uh, to get the experience of living in a big house uh, with my best friends. So right now we're pretty close to the Davis L station as well as the Metro station. Uh, the L is the elevated train in Chicago. Um, so it's kind of like our New York subway system, except it's above ground. Um, and we actually have multiple stops along campus. This is Davis, it's, uh, the most southern one on campus, but you can go all the way up. Um, and that takes you right down to Chicago if you need. Um, and it's actually really, really nice because you can swap onto the red line to get into all the different neighborhoods um, on the north side. Very, very easy to get really wherever you want in the city from the L. Uh, and then the Metro is also really great because it takes you right downtown. Uh, the L has a lot of stops through the various neighborhoods, so it's good to kind of get a feel of uh, the different cool areas in Chicago. But the Metro is if you need to go right downtown, it'll take you down there uh, pretty quickly. So last winter, um, I had a job downtown uh, through Chicago Field Studies, uh, a program where you get to intern for credit here at Northwestern. Um, and I was working downtown, so I took the Metro every day. Felt very much like a working professional with my coffee in the morning, on the train, going downtown. Uh, but again, really, really easy to get wherever you want in the city uh, from here in downtown Evanston. I also want to point out that down over there, the stores, the coffee shops, the restaurants, they keep going. They're endless. Uh, one of my favorite places down there is Benison's Bakery. Uh, really good donuts, really good cake. Um, and also Phil's Coffee, where they like personally roast you this like special blend they have. Delicious as well. Being a college town, we of course have an aesthetic record shop right over here for your cool vinyl needs. I have spent a ridiculous amount of money here. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to keep that just for me. Table of the Sticks Ramen. My mom really likes going to this place when she visits me. Delicious ramen, good stuff. Right over there is Cozy's, which is another Asian place. Kind of an Evanston staple. Um, lots of people like going out there for nights with their friends. Uh, they've got tons of like memorabilia on the walls. So it's like really, really a cool place to, to sit. Lots of lunch boxes, Pez, fun place. Good food as well. And then also, right over there is Five and Dime, uh, which is a bar, restaurant. They have a really cool game room. Um, and actually, that upstairs area is part of their, uh, they've got a little patio. And one time, one of my friends, she had a birthday party there. Um, super fun. People played ping pong, uh, air hockey, lots of games up there as well. Super fun place to hang out if you have a fun birthday or event. People like doing stuff there. More college town absolute essentials in your bike store. Oh, lots of bike lanes in Evanston, too. It's super bikeable and, like, super walkable, obviously. But you do not need a car at all um, for walking around for enjoying Evanston. All right, right over here is Smile, uh, another bar and barbecue place. Delicious food. Um, and even though we've kind of walked through some good areas in Evanston, uh, I missed a lot there's still tons that we didn't cover uh for your classic chicago pizza we have deep dish uh, we have lou malnani's and giordano's have been there a bunch of times with my friends um again the coffee shops cannot emphasize enough as just like a huge connoisseur if you will uh, of coffee lots of really good stuff around here um and yeah i think it's just a really enjoyable place to have as a college it definitely balances the the college town feel um it's really, really wonderful, and I hope you all get to visit someday, uh, try out some of the best restaurants around here. Fast 17, I mentioned, up there as well. Um, so much to do. Hope you all get to come and visit one day.